students today we are going to see chapter 10 it is introduction to computer networks introduction to computer networks yes what do you mean by network yes connection of more than one is called as your network if you are going to have a connection between more than one that is called as your network for example people consider your friends okay one so you as an individual having a relationship with your friend similarly you will be having friends so group of friends here will form a network for you okay ma'am so why you people are having a friends yes during some other time that is during your interval time or your, during your lunch interval time or during some other time you people will be sharing something with you for example if you are in need of pencil you will be sharing that with your friend so here your pencil act as a resource your pencil here act as a resource of your friend similarly if he if another one in friend is in need of another one that also shared between you so simple to tell when you people are in a small network that is human network there you people are sharing something so the source that is available with one person is shared with another person who is not having that resource so it is your simple example for network it is your simple example for network so now you people can have the definition for computer network now you people can have a definition for computer network so just now we finished your human or your friends network so then what is computer network so in your friends network your friends that is your human are interconnected with each and everyone similarly in computer network yes computers are interconnected more than one computer are interconnected that is called as your computer network so what is computer network yes a set of computers connected together for what purpose yes connected together for the purpose of sharing resources is called as your network so just now i told you what do you mean by friends uh, friends network there you people are going to share something so what else you people are going to share that is called as your resources okay wa? so here here also computer networks each and every computer are connected together for what reason they are connected together yes just for the purpose of sharing resource so here what are the resources are shared for you in computer what are the resources available yes you people can generally to tell a simple example is your scanner printer and fax so these are the familiar example okay ma? so only i'm telling scanner printer and fax so if if the if you people are willing to have printer for each and every individual computer means it is quite impossible and it is costly also to overcome that situation here network concept is introduced so each and every computer must be connected in a network and at the last you people will be having your printer so so in the set of com computers that are in the network if it is going to give any print command means that will automatically printer in the printer that is connected to the network that is connected to the network so don't forget so which computer is going to give the print command must be in the network similarly printer also must be in the network okay ma? then only you people will be able to have the able to share the resource and you people are able to have the printout also so clear with this one so simple resources only i have told by you by now that is your scanner printer and example so many resources are there few to tell are your file server web camera speakers as, as usual printer scanner fax machine so these are the few familiar examples okay ma? so some services also you people can access so nee enna panikalam computer network moolama apdi printer scanner mattu use pananum nilla some services adavadhu vera edhum unakku velaigal information venumna that also you people can get it so by means of which one you people get it yes by means of using www that is your world wide web digital audio digital video so which is also used to start the application software and storage services okay ba? some services also you people can get it that is by using your world wide web 
digital audio digital video so these are something you people can share software also you people can share storage services also you people can share okay well, see this example yes this is your simple computer that is your laptop it is connected to the cell phone it is to your tab and it is to your router switch everything it is connected and finally it is connected as shown it is connected to the world for you so it is connected so each and everything is all connected okay well, why they are connected yes just to sh share the resource that are available just to share the resource that are available so simple example i told you it's your friend okay your friends friends network so in that network you people will be sharing something okay well, so what else the resource that are available with your friends you people are going to share that one so that is going on with the computer also to share all the resources don't forget each and every computer must be connected in the network all must be in the network then only you people will be able to use the resources that are available in the network okay clear with what is a computer network yes the next one is networks of network is called as your internet we are discussing with the concept network only not internet okay va so many networks together will form the internet for you many 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 networks will form a internet for you so clear with this one yes for example you people can consider a multinational company okay wow. so it is having many branches worldwide so each and every day it is in need to get the report so how much sales going on so what else the feedback they are getting from the customer everything they have to note out daily so which will be easy yes if each and every branches are connected by means of internet it will be easy to collect all the information so each and every branch of that company must be connected in the internet so they can collect all the information daily or at any needed time okay well, so for that you are having another one concept it is your computer networking it is your computer networking yes is what do you mean by computer networking yes it is just a technique that you people are going to use it is just a technique that you people are going to use so what is this technique yes yeah, it's a technique of digital telecommunication network that permits one node to share its resources so here one node is giving permission to share its resources what do you mean by node first of all yes a node is nothing but a computer in the network is called as the node a computer in the network is called as its node okay wow. so computer networking is nothing but a technique of digital communications that permits a node to share its resources or node thanoda resources share panni mattavanga share panni idradhukku permission kudukudna adukku they are going to use which technology technique that is your digital telecommunication technique use panna pokranga so that is called as your computer networking okay wow. so here actually what the computer networking is going to do yes it is just going to exchange the data exchange the data with each and every one so over computer network la connect a irukum edukaga ellaru connect a irukanga resources are used pandradhukku data va exchange panidradhukku information are change panidradhukku for that each and everything can by means of which they are connected they can be wired or they can be wireless they can be wire or wireless between different terminals called your nodes okay ma so each and every computer will be connected in the network by means of wired or by means of wireless by means of wired or by means of wireless why they are connected yes just they are connected to exchange the data they are connected with each and every one by means of wired or wireless for the purpose of exchanging of data for the purpose of exchanging the data so the data can be transferred by means of some wires also okay were transferred by wires cable media what are the cable media they are going to use yes they are going to use fiber optic cable they are going to use fiber optic cable for wired and for wireless we are having the concept wifi for wired you are going to have fiber optic cable and for wireless you people are going to have the wifi so we can have few points about fiber optic cable yes go on with this one 
yes fiber optic cable is also known as your optical fiber cable okay va it is similar to that of the electrical cable here it is going to have one or more optical fibers here it is going to have one or more optical fibers that are used to carry light so in fiber optic cable the each and everything is used to carry light each elements are coated in a protective tube for you inside a tube each and every that is your wire connections what else wire cables that you people are going to have everything will be inside and it is protected or coated by means of a protective tube okay well, see this figure yes here see this figure so each and every small small cables you people are having no that is your fiber optic yes then it is this is your outer jacket and this is your water block shape okay wow. so water should not enter inside this one no since this cable will be passing through many area so it will be underground underground for you people so during that there should not be any damage to this cable by means of water or other material so it is uh, it is coming with a very very high protective case only you can go on this also so clear with what is fiber optic cable yes it is nothing but a it is more or less similar to that of the optical fiber cable and similar to that is of electrical cable here it is used to carry light they are used to carry light so here in all the information are passed by means of light for you all passed by means of light yes next we can have the next one yes what do you mean by node already i told you what is a node for you yes computer which is connected to a network is called as your node computer which is connected to your network so individual computer means it is not called as your node it will be called as your personal computer that is your pc if the same computer is going to be connected in a network it is called as your node it is called as your node so for the purpose of node you will be having the source and the destination what do you mean by source yes from which it is going to originate destination from where it is going to terminate that is called as your source and destination so data originates is your source and terminates is called as your destination clear with this is what is a node yes your node is nothing but a computer which is connected to the network so what is your source yes where the data originate is called as your source and where the data terminates is called as your destination is called as your destination so just you people think over this each and every computer are connected in the network for you okay wow. so from one for example your people consider you are having 10 computers that are connected in the network they are connected in the network so first that is the number one computer is going to communicate with the eighth computer yes it is willing to communicate with the eighth com computer so the first person also send a message hi to that person that who is in the eighth computer how the message that is just by now passed correctly will reach the eighth computer correctly it will reach the eighth computer how it is possible and how the message is able to identify yes this is the correct computer that i have to reach that is the destination how it is going to identify yes it is identified by means of its ip address each and everything is identified by means of its ip address yes what is ip address yes ip address is nothing but it is also called as your network address so each and every computer will be having a its own ip address by means of that only that um, message from the first computer will identify this is the eighth computer that i have to reach and i have to deliver the message okay va well, so nodes are identified by means of what yes by means of his ip address similarly it can include the devices like mobile phones tabs huge servers and other networking devices so these are also available as your node so clear with the introduction so the well known networking for all is internet so internet is nothing but networks of network is called as your internet so clear with the concept what do you mean by networking 
Yes, what do you mean by computer networks? Yes, computer, what do you mean by computer networks? A set of computers connected together is called as your network. So, why they are connected together? Yes, for the purpose of sharing the resource is called as your computer network. So, clear with the introduction? Yes, next we can see who introduced the concept of internet for you. Who introduced the concept of internet? Yes, the person Winton Greatschreff introduced the concept of internet and he is the founding father of internet. He is the founding father of internet. So, he only introduced the concept, uh, designed that one based upon the TCP slash IP protocol. Yes, he only uh, designed that one by the concept TCP slash IP protocol. So, what are the protocols that will be discussing in the continuous classes? Yes, he is Lawrence Roberts. So, he is also he is also in the development of internet. He is also in the development of internet concept. Okay, wow. He is also one of the fathers of the internet. Yes, next we are going to have the next one. It is your history of computer networking and the internet. So, now we are going to have the history so first we finish the what do you mean by inter computer networking then the who the person who introduced or who the person who is called as the father of internet and next we are going to have the history of computer networking and the internet yes first yes the first it is given as your serial number then you people are having the period that then the method they have used and the next it is the details about that one. So, first few people are going to have the first one. It is in the late 1950. It is in the late 1950. Here the method they used is semi-automatic ground environment. Here the method they used is semi-automatic ground environment. So, this is first mainly used in US military radar system. So, mainly this concept is used, was used in US military radar system. So, in which year? Yes, the period is late 1950. Okay, wow. So, the method is semi-automatic ground environment. Yes, the next it is 1960. By 1960, semi-automatic business research environment. First, they introduce for the purpose of military. That is your ground environment. Next, the same concept somewhat advanced. It is your business research environment business research environment okay wow. so where and all yes at commercial airline reservation system online connected with two mainframe computers so here it is co commercially used for just for the purpose of business it is used so it is a semi-automatic business research environment similarly here they introduced another one concept it is your package switching so what do you mean by package switching so here what else the message that you people are going to will be split that is it will be broken and it will be spent as a packet each and every message will be sent as a packet individually it will be sent individually from the source to the destination okay wow. so this was developed by Paul Brown and Donald devices Donald okay wow. Paul and Donald only introduced this concept packet switching so why they use this one to transfer the information between the computers and the network okay wow. yes next they implemented this one and uh, where they used to this concept is and a NPL that is your national physical laboratory which is at the United Kingdom here they are using the line speed at yes 768 kilobits okay wow. 768 kilobits it's your second method Next, it is your 1963, that is your intergalactic computer network. It is your intergalactic computer network. So, here the message was sent by JCR Licklider. The, here the message was sent by, message was sent over the computer network by JC Licklider. To whom? Yes, just to his colleagues. He is send that one and he found out how the communication access communication how the users are able to use that one everything he you he discussed in this concept okay well, that is your intergalactic computer network in the year 1963 yes 1965 next one is in the year 1965 here they use the method telephone switch here they use the method telephone switch yes so what is the concept that is really behind the telephone switch? Yes, 
what this telephone switch is going to do yes it is a switch so it is going to connect something okay wow. so here the telephone means it is going to interconnect the telephone lines to some other circuits or to some other digital system okay wow. so here actually what is the point behind the telephone switches it is going to interconnect telephone lines to virtual circuits of digital system okay wow. so that is your telephone switch so it first it was widely used and introduced by western electric they are first and widely used by western electric so in 1996 next two people are having your van that is your wide area networks it's your wide area network so by the name itself it is widely connected so this network it is what somewhat widely connected that is your wide area network and the next two people are going to have it is your 1969 to 70 arpanet okay well, it is your arpanet here what the concept they are going to use is hierarchical routing here they are going to use the concept of hierarchical routing okay well, actually what it is here yes to the next side that is to the explanation part here they will be giving a small incident for you so four universities are connected by means of this arpanet concept so what are the four university california university of california and the next one at another university of santa barbara and the next one at your stanford research institute and the next one at university of utah okay wow. so these are the four universities that are connected by means of which one by means of the concept that is your method arpanet here they are going to use the speed at 50 kilobits circuits okay well, they are going to use this one so that by means of using this one they are testing that one whether this arpanet concept is working correctly or not okay well, next few people are going to have the next one in the year 1972 that is your x.25 here they are going to use which method it is your tcp slash ip what do you mean by tcp ip yes it is transmit control protocol or internet protocol okay well, here they are going to use some protocol protocol means what yes some rules and regulations that you people have to follow while you are moving or sending messages from one computer to another so that is called as your protocol yes next you people are going to have the next one yes 1973 here you are going to have the concept of host you are going to have the concept of host so in a french network named cyclades okay wow, was the first for making host host which is responsible for this host is going to have the responsibility for rel delivery of reliable data so the host host means by the name itself you can tell it is going to be the center okay well, so each and every information that you people are going to send must reach the host from that host only it is going to decide where the where it has to move okay well, later this host become the centralized service of network it become the centralized service of network so it is your host this concept was introduced in the year 1973 and by the next you people are going to have the next method it is your ethernet ne next method it is your ethernet that is from the year 1973 to 1979 okay wow. here what is actually happening ethernet means yes it is nothing but it is a cable just for the purpose of communication connection between the each and every computer in the network for you so here they have given a few description that is about the ethernet they have written or published some articles for you at the july 1976 the paper published is ethernet distributed packet switching for local computers by robert and david okay wow. so these are the two persons who introduced the concepts of ethernet in the year 1976 clear so these two persons so they published an article that is your distributed package switching for local computer networks okay clear so the later this one only changed into us open standard at the year 1979 okay clear with this one so these and all you will be having under ethernet 1973 it is your host next 1973 to 79 it is the concept method they introduced is ethernet and the next one it is your 1976 that is method used is arcnet here they are going to have another one it is your arcnet what is arcnet yes it is was created by john murphy 
and which organization he is from yes data point corporation so actually what is going to do here means a token is passed in the network a token is nothing but a signal token is nothing but a signal is passed in the network which used to first to share the storage device and it they performed this experiment or research in the year 1976 1976 so here actually what is going to happen is a signal is passed between the network and to check whether everything is working properly so here they performed the research in the year 1976 to to share the storage device to share the storage device they they used the concept of arcnet here the person who created this was yes john murphy okay wow well, uh, which organization yes data point corporation in the year 1976 and next you people are going to have in the year 1995 it is your new fiber optic cable so already we have discussed few points about cable fiber optic cable it is similar to that of your electrical cable then it is also called as your optical optical cable also so go on with the speed yes so first they have given the transmission speed for ethernet cables how it is 10 megabits to 100 okay va wow. at year 1995 so after that one so here small printing mistakes so after that ethernet support the transmission of speed capacity to gigabytes first in the year at year 1995 what is finished 10 bits megabits to 100 megabits later it start to the transmission capacity of 1 gigabyte it is to 1 gigabyte so by now it is going to have 100 gigabits okay why it is going to have 100 gigabytes in 2016 still it is going on still this it is expanding that is it is up, upending so it is updated each and every year so now ether has the capacity to grow easily as compared to support new fiber optic cable speed so now the ethernet everything is able to able to compete with the fiber optic cable also to support the fiber optic fiber optic cable speed so clear with the history what else we have discussed by now yes first the method they used is semi automatic ground environment next one it is your semi automatic business research environment next it is your intergalactic computer network next concept it is your telephone switch next it is your wide area network next it is your arpanet here they are going to have your hierarchical routing next it is your x.25 the method to be used is tcp slash ip next it is your host what do you mean by host yes device connected to your computer network is called as your host next we finish ethernet then arcnet and the last it is your new fiber optic cable so clear with what else we have discussed under history of computer networking yes so that's all for today so what else we have finished by today first we finish the introduction next we finish the definition for computer network networks then the next what do you mean by network yes network is nothing but yes sorry internet is nothing but network of networks is called as your internet then next it is your computer networking the next one it is your node node means any computer in the internet sorry any computer in the network is called as your node and at last we finished the in history of computer networks and the internet so clear with the what else concepts that we have discussed by today yes remaining we can continue in the next class yes thank you students